Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. Five years after it was announced the chill can plant was coming to Youngstown, we've still not seen a can made here. Now the city has threatened to sue if something's not done in 60 days. Today I spent some time across from the plant, talking with the owner of a business who's watched it built and hoped for the jobs, only to say it's pretty heartbreaking. The chill can plant is our top story at 10. The Royal Oaks Bar sits right across the street from the buildings which were supposed to house a plant to make self-chilling chill cans. You know, Young Sound, we, we keep looking for that next thing, and we thought this was going to be a go-to thing. John Kennedy owns the Royal Oaks, where the sign out front claims it's the oldest bar in Youngstown. Kennedy says he knew four years ago the chill can might not make it. What happened was the uh, contractors would come in here every day for lunch, and they were telling me, I don't know what the guy's doing. Uh, he, was, he, was, he owed them money from the get-go, and it kind of seemed like, eh, we're going to be a little shady. It's just stall tactics, I think, and um, you either got to make something happen or you got to go. The chill can plant sits in Councilman Julius Oliver's first ward. Oliver says he used to talk with chill can CEO Mitchell Joseph regularly. I've lost communication with him. Um, he doesn't call me anymore. Oliver called the city's decision to potentially sue Mitchell Joseph and his company a great step forward. Either, you know, get this plant moving and get these jobs situated or, you know, give us the land back so we can um, definitely go on to plan B. Plan B would be to bring in another company or companies who might want to use the buildings. Now we have a package, you know, instead of saying, hey, we're going to give you land to build, we're going to give them the building, move in. You know, there's plenty of people I'm sure would love to move in there. But as far as chill cans being made in the buildings, John Kennedy is not optimistic. Some of the patrons, they call it the chill can't because it's just not going to happen. After a couple of text messages, I did hear today from Chill Can CEO Mitchell Joseph, who wrote back, no comment yet, which could mean he may eventually have something to say about the city's plan to take him to court. 